I'm going to describe an ideal lesson. If a guest were observing how they would, what they would hear, feel, and see. Um, this is my actual response. As educators, I believe it is our job to help students think for themselves and not do their thinking for them. I have helped students by working with them to create real life adventures, such as can be found in the theater, where even the most difficult students are on their best behavior and working together as a team. This is the magic of being fully present in a moment and living it. And this is what I've committed my life to, whether it be through writing, producing, or teaching. And that is why I designed a unit of study based on Shakespeare's classic text, Macbeth, or also known as that Scottish play, um, for high school juniors and or seniors as the crowning accomplishment of my Master of Arts degree in teaching secondary education language arts. During this unit of study, the class will accomplish a number of reading and writing tasks that will teach simple arguments of judgment so that students will be scaffolded up to a level where they will be gradually prepared to compose the final research project for the unit. According to George Hillocks, argument is at the heart of critical thinking and academic discourse. It is the kind of writing that students need to know for success and in life. The kind of writing that the Common Core State Standards puts first. When writing MLA style research papers, for example, students will review the work of their peers by doing the following. So imagine that we have students, they come in, we've got a bell ringer up on the board, we do attendance, all the seats are arranged in a circle. And so they come in with their Chromebooks and they open up their, say their draft of their research papers, which they're preparing. And so we would have like 10 questions. I would have them prepared and on a pre-printed sheet and it would read something like this. Okay, students, um, you're going to move one seat to the right. And when you have a paper or Chromebook in front of you, you're going to follow instruction number one, which is read the introduction of the paper. Underline the thesis or the focus statement. And if you can't find one, write a note to the writer. And then you sign off on it. So every, it has like a bulleted point of um, different things that students will do and then they sign off and then they switch so then they'll move again always two to the right and then follow instruction number two and so on until we finish or the bell rings so they would like highlight all forms of the verb be if they're if it's a paper or if they're on the chromebook then they could run the um essay through the aztakira.com to be analyzer and find out if the writer's using too many forms of the word to be or verb to be rather. Um, what do you suggest to do to change this? How can we make it better? So then the student signs off and we go on down to the end where it's read the entire paper, point out errors in grammar, spelling, mechanics, sentence structure, etc. So, you know, we start out with a very manageable, small, and then it gradually builds. And then at the end, the students sign off on that one too. So there's like 10 different points that they cover in a peer review lesson. So what would the observers see. Guests will feel the dramatic tension as each student makes the decision about peer editing. Um, they would hear the students engaged in active discourse and critical thinking as they actively work towards becoming better readers, writers, and thinkers. And at the end, they would feel the accomplishment of a job well done as students hand in well-written research papers that will guide them to the next level of their lives in college. And that's the goal, to get students to college or maybe a trade school, if that's what they would prefer. Um, not every student is necessarily a college-bound student, but I like to believe that all students are going to college, and I really stress that in my work with them. So, have a great day. 
Thank you so much for your time, and um, I'm going to sign off. This is Kathleen Chandelmeyer Bartles.